If you are looking for a private PC and you have $700 or less, this video is going to be for you. I want to clarify that most PCs at this price point are actually not worth the buy, but I actually found three PCs that in my opinion are actually good for the price that you're paying. And I want to say that most private PCs at this price point are a complete scam. So be careful guys if you don't know about computers because you can actually buy a system that ends up being a headache. You will have the links to all of these PCs down in the video description. That being said, let's start. With the first one on the list, we have the cheapest one and it's the Ryzen Mini PC. This one is nothing too crazy, honestly. It's just a functional system that will get you decent performance at 1080p on the easiest to play titles. And I'm talking about games like Valorant, Minecraft, CSGO, and these type of titles. Maybe even GTA 5. But the thing here is that you're spending $500, but after applying that $120 coupon, it's going to be around 380 bucks. So honestly, for the price that you're paying, you are getting decent performance. However, if your main focus is gaming at 1080p on high settings, this is not the right PC for you. But if you want to do school work and then play from time to time, easy to run titles with your friends, and you cannot spend a single penny above $500, then this one is the one I will go with. With the next one, we have a $600 system in the Big 215L. This one has the i5-13400, which is actually a really good CPU at this price point. And then you get the Intel Arc A380, which is once again, nothing too crazy. It's not going to be the best graphics card out there and it's not going to get you 1080p ultra settings performance But it is going to be better than the last mini PC and you will be able to play titles like GTA 5 more comfortable than the esports titles I've mentioned before you can play these games at 120 plus FPS on average depending on the settings So if you want a 144 Hertz 1080p monitor you can buy one So and honestly if you can spend a bit more I do recommend you buying the same one by clicking on customize and buy and going with the RTX 3050 instead and the the total price at that point is going to be $700, but you get a much better graphics card and the RTX 3050 is going to be able to play most titles at 1080p 60 plus FPS on average, depending on the settings. So it's a much better GPU and it's going to give you around 80% faster rasterized performance. And then if you even have a bit more over $700, I recommend you the $750 Skytech Nebula from Amazon. This one has the i5 13400F and the RTX 3050. So it's basically the Big 215L at the $700 price point, but this one is $750 because you get more stuff as well. You get one terabyte of NVMe SSD, which is more storage than the other two systems. And then you get 16 gigs of DDR4 memory, which is going to be enough for gaming. I think this one is the best option if you have around 750 bucks, but if you cannot go, then I do recommend you the Big 215L for 700. If that's not in your budget, then you can actually go with the 1660 Super for the graphics card on the Big 2, which is going to make the PC 680 bucks. But then if that's too expensive for you, you can go with the $600 option. Anyway, on these last two systems, because you get the i5-13400F, if you play CPU demanding titles, then these PCs are actually quite powerful for the price. The 13400F is one of the best mid-range CPUs that you can buy today, so these last two systems are actually going to be quite good for the price in my opinion when buying a Pro PC. If you are willing to build it yourself, of course, it's going to be better at the same price. That's not new, but if you're not willing to build it yourself, I completely understand you, and these are are, in my opinion, the best private PCs for $750 or less. If you are willing to build it yourself though and get better performance for the price, I highly recommend you watching my video about the best PC builds of the month for every budget and every resolution. You will have that one in the top right of the screen. And then if you have more money to spend on a private PC and you want better performance, but you don't want to build it yourself, tomorrow I'm updating my best private PCs of the month list video for October 2023. So if you're looking for a more expensive system, just wait for that video to drop. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. I try to reply as fast as possible. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your support and I will see you on the next one.